Thank you, Cecilia. And uh, I also want to welcome you all uh, warmly. We are so happy to have you here. We have been preparing for this seminar and this, the conference that will follow uh, for quite a, a time now. So it's really fantastic to see you all here. Very nice. I'm Eva Sandberg and I'm the di di director of the uh, Swedish Center for Nature Interpretation. Uh, which Cecilia told you about. Uh, and this is our place where we work. You are welcome here. The, the university campus here is a bit uh, unorganized right now because uh, there is a huge rebuilding of everything, as you maybe noticed when you came here. But I hope we'll be comfortable today in this room. As you can see, this is the room where the landscape architects uh, create things. So we hope this will be a creative place for us to work. And uh, talking about potential and uh, opportunities, as Cecilia did, uh, that's the theme for today. Uh, we have tried to combine lots of things here today. We have this international conference and some of the most, uh, the world leading specialists in interpretation are actually here in this room today because we have this conference and everyone's here. And we also have a whole, uh, crowd here of people from the Nordic Baltic countries who are really interested in development and cooperation of interpretation. Some of you, you are from more outdoor education, I know, and some are working with national parks and then you come from different perspectives, but I am sure we will have a very nice and uh, rewarding day together here today. Some words before I um, more words about our center, just so you know uh, something about us. Oh, no, I have to mention, of course, it's not only the center who organizes this seminar today. We, we are very happy also to have the uh, Nordic Cooperation Group for Nature Interpretation. That is a more informal group that has grown. We have been working with some projects together, and we have some representatives from that group here today. Uh, behind this. And also the International Rainier Federation. Uh, th there is a Nordic Baltic Forum for Interpretation, a group who have met several times in different Nordic countries uh, and who are here today also and want to discuss future cooperation. So you are all very welcome. This is, it's a bit dark but I don't think we can do so much about it. You can see that uh, the, the CNV crew, I just wanted to show you who we are. Uh, on my side, it's Christina. She's in Sigtuna right now, preparing for the conference that will come tomorrow. She's an archeologist, archeologist. And uh, Per Sonvik is here, the organizer of this seminar, uh, devoted uh, outdoor life person and uh, <laughs> uh, urban uh, rural development planner you are for instance background and also Anders who will be the moderator for this day who is a man who knows everything about woods Jägmästare what is that in English? Forestry. <laughs> and we also have, uh, are have very happy to, in our crew, to have uh, Mr. Sam Ham as our guest professor. He is here right now. Two months a year, he's here helping us, and that is really great. Uh, so that's the, the team. And as Cecilia said, our center was established. It was an initiative from the uh, Environmental Protection Agency in Sweden in 2007. So we've been working here for five years now, trying to develop interpretation professionally in, in Sweden. Welcome. <laughs> um, we, of course, then, uh, an important part of what we do is to support uh, Swedish Environmental Protection Agency with their work with interpretation. For instance, visitor centers called Naturrum in Sweden and the national parks, 
um, and lots of other things, but also in a broad perspective to develop the, the profession in, in Sweden. Just to give the Nordic common background, 20 years ago there was a group working within the Nordic Council of Ministers. Uh, they, they had a task to uh, develop uh, and cooperation on interpretation in our countries. And then they, they defined uh, interpretation this way. Uh, there is, uh, it's quite hard to exactly uh, translate it into English. We've been discussing a bit what it, what it says, but uh, mediation of sense, knowledge about nature. Uh, there is an aim, increase understanding for the basic ecological and cultural connections. Human role in nature. I see you take photos, but we can also send everything. I think every slide we <laughs> show today to you later. Uh, and uh, in the definition, it also says what this will lead to. And that, of course, we can discuss that uh, if we know that. But that, that is the definition that we uh, start from, and that is part of our task. Uh, actually, now, 20 years later, for us in Sweden, we start working a bit more with definitions like the one from NAI in the United States and, and uh, the one that has been formulated by Sam. And I think you will talk a bit more about this later. It's a, a bit of a, a broader perspective on, on interpretation as a communication process. Okay, so what we do, we provide tools like uh, handbooks, newsletters, website with sites with information and seminars, conferences for nature interpreters in Sweden mainly. Uh, we try to develop the understanding of interpretation as a phenomenon here, uh, the development of the, of the subject uh, and overview the knowledge and uh, we try, with the help of Sam now, to establish a research function together with our unit of environmental communication here. So that is very exciting. And of course, what is very important is the professional network that we really have the contact with all the stakeholders uh, who we are here to help. We have 1,500 persons now who get our newsletters and we have, are in contact with. So that's the most important parts of what we do. And we work with, of course, the, the personal interpretation, face to face. Uh, but very important is, of course, also this part, because this is what you usually can uh, afford to, <laughs> to work with, uh, non-personal interpretation. And uh, this is an example from, from the new brand for national parks in Sweden. Uh, lots of things to discuss here. For instance, there is some, you have to bend down here to read what says there in very small. Uh, there are things to discuss on how this is done, but, but this, is, this is the kind of, of um, an example of, of what is very important, really trying to, to develop how we work with interpretive panels, new techniques like applications and, and websites and how we reach people and really try to make interpretation of this information. Uh, reflection. This is this so dark, but it's supposed to it's a mirror. Someone looking down a mirror and see the, the treetops. And this is about, I think, what we think is most important for us is to work with reflection, uh, make uh, the community working with interpretation uh, reflect more on what they do, how they do, how they plan, how they evaluate, and um, the aim of what to do. That's the most important thing for us. So that's reflection. We also try to combine, not talk about this is nature and this is culture, and we talk, try to talk about, as in English-speaking countries, you talk about heritage and that can mean nature and culture together. La the landscape is both. can also choose sometimes just to talk about interpretation, just to skip that division, because there are so many things we really have in common, people working with 
cultural heritage and natural heritage interpretation. And of course, in Swedish, naturvägledning, the word, it doesn't mean uh, interpretation, tolkning, to interpret something. It means literally leading the way to nature. So we've been working quite a lot with, with the words and the meaning of the words. Uh, but what we have found is that interpretation as a concept, how oh, I'm showing Sam Ham's new book. <laughs> I didn't tell you, but I <laughs> wanted to show that. Uh, the ideas from Freeman Tilden, who was the first in the United States, really tried to uh, communicate the idea of interpretation in the 1950s. Yeah. Uh, the ideas from Tilden and the development that have been going on all those years since Tilden. Um, and for instance, now there is a new book that Sam has written, just recently published, I think some weeks ago, actually, uh, which really is a, a huge help for us that we have found all this literature and, and the, the world of interpretation uh, as a tool and help for our, us. And of course, now, cooperation, you, this is what is most important to develop the profession. We, we need to listen to understand how we work in different countries and how we can cooperate, help each other and, and um, learn from each other. The conference tomorrow in Sigtuna that I mentioned before is a very important example for us. Of course, we've been working with Interpret Europe, who will be presenting there what they do later on, and National Association for Interpretation from the United States, um, and the international section there with this. That is great. And also we have this Nordic cooperation and on the left you see the team, uh, this Nordic cooperation group we have been working for some years now, trying to find different projects to develop. And the uh, Nature Interpretation for Children and Young People in Nordic Countries is an example that Per will tell you a bit more about later. Also recently published. Okay, today. Meet, listen, learn, exchange ideas and discuss. Um, and to he hear more about tools and needs for development of the profession and examples. This is so great. We have <laughs> the persons who've been really developing interpretation in the United States for many years here today. So we can really ha have, uh, we must really use them now and get all the information. Uh, from them of how they have been working this far. Uh, and also we have all the knowledge in this group, people, everyone here has a lot to give. So let's do that today, share ideas. Uh, and also maybe find new arenas and new ideas on how to cooperate between our countries. Okay, Anders, now I really have to leave to you to tell a bit more about what will happen today. Thank you.